Hey guys, how you doing? It's Gary again, broadcasting here from the Model X, actually here at the uh, Tesla dealership that's uh, local to me, or sorry, not dealership, service center. So, hence why I see so many awesome cars. But um, one of the biggest things that I had a challenge with when I first um, committed to, you know, buying a an X was I wanted something very, very comfortable in that sense where I can fit plenty of golf clubs, I can, you know, carry a you know fair amount of passengers unless the passengers probably just you know four max including myself right um and just kind of road trip down you know i got a group of buddies we always go down to orlando but we always fly say so, hey, why not let's hit up piners let's hit up some of the great courses down in um south carolina so i want to kind of show you some of the i don't want to call it the uh i mean it was it was, it, it was a little kind of playing Tetris for me to figure this out because um, when I first got the Model X I was asking the uh, the uh, Tesla guys about how many clubs can I fit obviously you know Tesla's whole model is that they don't hire salespeople they just hire people that receive customers I mean they're not going to be pushing you and saying yeah you can do this you can do that they're a very Apple-ish model I guess you would say so here's one big thing is that you can fit a bag, shoes, golf balls, whatever, right in the front, right? It's going to remove the fairy woods, hybrids, and so forth. i just kind of give you an idea that I got luggage here, but what's great about these Teslas is that down here, it's like the airplane seating arrangement, as you would say where you can slide all the clubs here. Now, again, bear in mind, I, I'm just doing this just to show you guys, you know, this can be organized much more, um, less cluttered, I guess the way I have it. But you can slide it right, right underneath the drivers and things like that. So you can see down here. But more importantly, which you can fit back here. So you see I've removed all the head covers and everything. And also, too, we can't forget that there's also the, uh, extra space down here, too. I mean, I've got the seat folded down, obviously. Obviously put things in here. And what I would imagine going down here would possibly be, say, a regular piece of luggage, you know? I mean, I normally never carry this much with me when I'm going on a golf trip because you know what you're going to be wearing. But I uh, just want to show you. I mean, yeah, that obviously fits very, very well. So the key is, I just want to make the emphasis, is that <laughs> there's obviously a lot of storage. I'm just keeping it back here because it's a little bit easier. So that's where the convenience is of having the, you know, instead of having the, uh, what is it, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, I guess this is the, the seven seat configuration versus the six is you definitely want to free up in the middle aisle. Now, don't get me wrong, if you've got kids and you definitely need that extra seating, I personally found it to be very um, annoying <laughs> because um, when you have something like the headrest sticking up, you kind of create a blind spot when you look up here, you know, at the uh, side on the uh, rear view mirror. So I've got these seats all the way back all the way in front. And of course, you always gotta have your Tesla umbrella. I mean, come on. You can't always guarantee no rain on a golf course, right? All right, so I'm gonna start loading these, these clubs in. Now, because everyone's concerned about these back area being scratchable, just Use the bottom side of the, you know, because this is plastic. 
So don't worry too much about scratches. So in this case, I've got three, or sorry, two. Three. Golf shoes, where do you want to fit in there? And obviously when you're on a giant golf trip, don't carry a bag like this. I mean, that is just a overkill unless you're on tour. But uh, if that's the case, fly your clubs over there, you know? But I just want to show you like how much you can put in this. I mean, that was my biggest concern when I bought this vehicle was these seats don't fold down. So, you know, it kind of freaked me out a little bit, you know, in the sense of like, well, there's more square footage, blah, 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 from a storage perspective and for the S, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. That's not an issue. I mean, I'm not trying to make it sound like you got to play Tetris and figure this thing out, but you got to really understand the benefits of how these cars are engineered. You know, Tesla's not going to sit here all day and tell you, this is how you do this, how you do that, blah, blah, blah. They rely on guys like me or other Tesla owners who are very inspired by the mission statement of what Tesla is. And it's all about, you know, obviously the simple statement is going green. Um, but um, that's why, you know, we, you know, I guess we can call ourselves a cult, just like Apple is, right? In that sense, being an Apple owner or a Tesla owner in that case. But uh, yeah, let me throw this back here. Drop the, I can't leave this guy. Got to the head cover. <laughs> All right, I believe everything should fit. Piece of cake. All right, so if you, if you have any questions about this, uh, just let me know because um, I'll, I'll be doing a golf trip very, very soon because winter is coming. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Have a good one, and I hope you find this insightful as always.